Hey everybody, my name is Mark. I'm going to be sharing from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3-5 through 5 this morning. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. I hope you'll take some time this morning and just meditate on this scripture. It's been a big encouragement to me recently. Um, two things I, I just want to uh, encourage you uh, with from this passage. And the first one is that uh, we have an inheritance kept in heaven for us. And this passage tells us that that God, according to his great mercy, caused us to be born again to a living hope. And I think that that is amazing. That in itself is enough, that, that God would cause us to be born again, that we would have new life. And I think about um, life with him eternally, and that's one of the, the key things for me is thinking I'll be with him. But it's interesting that Peter puts this in here too. He says, Hello, you also have an inheritance, something that's imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, and it's kept in heaven for us, and uh, it's in God's possession, and and um, you know we don't we have some ideas about what that could be, but not exactly sure what it is, and um, it's amazing. I, I think that God is planning for that time when we're going to be um, with Him, and you know the letters to um, that Peter is writing. Uh, to this church, they're really having a difficult time and suffering and, and experiencing a lot of persecution. But he uses this um, uh, idea of, hey, you have a future inheritance coming, so so keep pressing on. Um, the the second thing is, um, um, it says, this, the verse says, who by God's power are being guarded through faith. And I sat here looking at this and I just thought, what what is he talking about? Our inheritance is being... Uh, guarded by God's power, that yeah, that's that's a, that could be, or is it us that God is God is guarding? And um, I started kind of engaging with this and, and studying uh, this idea. And um, what I learned is that actually this idea of guarding, it's an idea that 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 uh, God is is going with us um, through our life, and He's guarding us or that we're being guarded by God's power through faith. As we go throughout life, we're being guarded by God's power wherever we go. And there's there's two passages in the Old Testament uh, that often come, um, one especially comes to mind, that's Isaiah 7. And uh, it's, this, it's this image of God sitting on the throne and um, the, the angels, the seraphim there, and they're praising him, singing, holy, holy, and the temple shakes and fills with smoke. Oftentimes, I think we can get that picture that God is just on the throne. Um, but there's another one that I want to bring uh, to your mind this morning. It's true that God is, God is on the throne, and there's a reality to that, because we can be uh, certain that he's, um, that he's ruling in this world, and, and we can have confidence in that. But the second thing, uh, the second passage is from Ezekiel chapter 1, where we get this idea um, if you looked at uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter one verses two or chapters two and three, you see there's there's this kind of wheels, these creatures uh, that are on top of these wheels, and then it's like a throne of God above those. And really, that is a symbol um, that God, wherever in the Old Testament, wherever the Israelites went, God would also go with them. And I just thought that was that was really you know, something to think about God's power in that way. And that, you know, the Israelites were going to be going into exile soon. And, uh, and God revealed this to Ezekiel. And, um, but he was letting him know, and he was using this, this picture of these, of this wheel and this throne, it's mobile, wherever, wherever the Israelites go, God is going to be going uh, with them. And he's going to be guarding them wherever they went. And I was thinking, you know, um, in the same way, uh, the Lord is going to be guarding us wherever we go as well. 
Um, so be encouraged with those things this morning um, that we have. God is preparing something uh, for us uh, beyond what we can see right now, and he's keeping it in heaven for us. And the second thing is that um, that you're guarded uh, with God's power uh, through through faith in this life. Um, so know that he is with you and know that he's powerful. And if you need a reminder of that, uh, take a look at the first few chapters of Ezekiel chapter 1. All right, thanks so much. Mm-hmm.